Am I light red? Ooh. Me too. Alright, go ahead. Good luck. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Moisture Brainy guys. Another video. In today's video, we are on the 125 Apollo. Boys on the 250. Um, so if you guys want the 125 or the 150, perfect channel. We can actually... Hang on, let me catch up real quick. This bike is mad slow. Alright, so some of the things I was going to talk to you guys about is you can probably hear a lot of wind. That's because I took off some of the pads from my thing. So, uh... First of all, what we're doing is really illegal. A cop already talked to us about doing this, riding dirt bikes on the street, how illegal it is. But in today's video, my shit cut off. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Kawasaki KTM or anything like that, you're looking to pay close to what five, six thousand, even even more than that too sometimes. So the bike is cheap. So if you're a beginner and biker like me, first bike ever you want to learn. You don't want to beat up a brand new bike. You don't have enough money. You just really want to learn. This bike is perfect for that. So that's number one first thing that I really really do love about this bike is the price. And I know a lot of people are gonna hit me in the comments and be like. It's a cheap Chinese bike, but we will go over the five things that I don't like about this bike in the next video. So stay tuned for that if you guys want to see. Shit, our tires are slick now. Number two thing that I like about the bike, about the 125, is it's a pit bike. It's not an actual dirt bike. So this bike is a lot smaller. <laughs> it's, oh no, it's a lot more agile, so you can actually do things with the bike. Like for a beginner, that bike is big. The 250 is a lot faster, but it is a bigger bike. So when it comes to like hitting trails and stuff like that, this bike is really small, and it's it's actually like you can control this bike, which is a lot of fun because. When you're new to biking, if you get a bigger bike and you can't control it, you're going to find yourself being frustrated a lot. But as you can see, he's just going way past me, way faster than me, because this bike is a little slow, but again, it's a small pit bike. It's meant for hitting trails, hitting jumps, hitting little random shit that you want to do if you want to just be a little hoodlum out here in the streets. This is a good bike. You can actually learn wheelies on this bike a lot better than you can on the 250. Well, basically, the number three tip, or my favorite thing about this bike, number three, is how reliable it is. I mean, it is a Chinese bike, but it still kicks first kick. Like, the bike doesn't have a problem with starting. Um, 
Now, of course, when you first get the bike, it's gonna be a little- Bad news, guys. My GoPro ended up running out of freaking space, so I gotta go get a bigger size micro SD card for my GoPro. I do also want to get another GoPro, so eventually I will get that. But, like I was saying, my third favorite thing about this bike is, again, the reliability of it. Like, it kicks up first start every time. Now, when you first get the bike, it is going to be a little bit just because it's a brand new bike, so, like, the fluids and stuff, it's gonna take a little bit longer. And then every time you first start the bike for the first time that day or something like that, or if you haven't rode in a week or something, it's gonna be a little bit but if you're riding the bike like throughout the day like we did eight hour rides one time we've done six hour rides of just dogging the bike for six hours and every single time it still started up first kick sometimes it'd be second kick because i didn't kick it hard enough but it was like really quick in the 250 my friend's pit bike or dirt bike it doesn't start first kick so he's sitting there struggling and in the heat it kind of sucks because think about it you're in the heat you're hot you're tired you need to kick your bike on and you're sitting there kicking it for hours or not even hours maybe like five minutes and it, it does put some toll on you like you get tired because you're kicking it constantly so having a bike that kicks first start makes things a little bit easier makes things a lot funner because one we're not out there stressing or hot or hoping that our bike kicks on it just kicks first try so so far the bike has been super reliable and we have been dogging it for like five hours six hours of just non-stop riding which i heard you're not supposed to do you're supposed to just take it easy on the bikes especially when you first get them you want to break them in but the bike has been reliable but now moving on to my fourth favorite thing about this bike it has to be the look of the bike i mean the bike looks good it looks like a nice pit bike or dirt bike if, if you saw it and you didn't really know name brands i could go ahead and throw some stickers on this and some people might not even notice that it's a chinese bike but again that's some people for those of you guys out there that are hardcore bikers or dirt bikers and you know about all that stuff you guys are going to definitely comment below and be like you can definitely tell it's a chinese bike but look if you're new to biking you're not even going to tell it's a nice looking bike it's small um it's just a really good bike even the 250 looks really good but again for those professional dirt bikers you guys are going to comment and be like no you could definitely tell it's a chinese bike for me for beginners out there this channel is based off of beginner riders it looks good it's a good looking bike for those of you guys that are actually like really hardcore biker fans and you, you just want a kawasaki and you're only one kawasaki's and you don't like any other bike please don't comment on this video with hate like i've been getting a lot of hate people saying that ktms are better don't get these cheap chinese bikes guys these bikes are cheap for a reason they're, they're beginner bikes like they're bikes the reason i got it is actually i will make a whole video of why i picked a K uh, apollo over like a ktm or honda or or kawasaki or anything like that but yeah that's besides the point the bike looks really good the panels look good everything on it looks good so if you do want to get this bike like for a chinese bike when they say chinese bike you're thinking of something that just looks off but this bike is a good looking bike so that being said moving on to my last favorite thing about this bike is how much torque it has i mean it's not like super torquey like those professional bikes it's not like you got to remember you're paying for what you get it is a 800 dollar bike so it's not like anything crazy but it does have enough torque where you can actually pop the wheelies extremely easy you can actually pop the wheelies you can uh hit trails and stuff with speed like when it comes to top speed this bike's not fast at all like i'm gonna be honest with you guys it says the top speed is like 50 miles per hour i don't even think i hit 50 miles per hour on this bike really gunning it so i wouldn't say it's 50 miles per hour it, it, it it's a slow bike but it does have a lot of torque and what i mean by torque is gun it you can feel it pull you like you can feel it but if you're really going down a road or something you're really trying to go fast or like 50 miles per hour you're gonna find yourself going pretty slow and you're gonna find the 250 passing you up very very easy and again this bike only has four gears so it's not anything crazy but yes guys that is the five things that i actually do like about the apollo now there's other things that i do like about it but these are the first five things i can think about if you guys do want to see a five things i hate about the apollo let me know in the comment section below give this video a thumbs up if we can kill like 150 likes on this video i will definitely make a five things i dislike about the apollo for those of you guys that are like i don't want to be biased and just go off of somebody's video of what they like about the apollo you want to hear both sides of the story because there are things that do suck about the bike it, it really does suck but i will tell you guys that in another video and then i'm also going to make a video talking about why i got this bike over any other bike as my first beginner bike because i know a lot of you guys out there want to start biking and stuff like that and you want to get into it but you realize like it's really expensive if you want to get like a newer used bike you're looking at like two thousand to maybe six seven thousand dollars for a bike so that's a lot of money to invest into something that you don't know if you're going to be good at you don't know if it's gonna you're gonna have a lot of time for it. you don't know anything about this or that the apollo is a good bike but i don't want to give you guys too much information on what the next video is going to be about i will leave that for the next video but guys thank you so much for all the love all the support i've been getting a lot of views on these videos a lot of love and i do appreciate it i do get a little bit of haters but it's fine if they hate i just delete the comment and just ignore them or block them from the channel so that's just how that goes but guys thank you so much i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next video peace